Hello there, welcome to Cartooning with Paul. Today I'm going to show you how to draw one of our classic Disney characters. That's right, today I'm going to show you one of the very first, Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. So, let's get started. Let's dive into how to draw Oswald. So now, in drawing Oswald, we're going to want to leave a lot of space for those long ears. So if we're going to do a full body, and why not? Let's start off by drawing in a circle about yay big on your page. Now, I have been getting some comments that uh, some people would like to know how large I'm drawing these shapes. Uh, keep in mind that I'm not drawing on an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. But if I were to figure this out, uh, this circle is a little more than about an inch and a half long. So let's draw him on an angle. So my construction lines will go down here to the side a little bit. And let's, let's figure him out looking to the side and a little bit downward. Now he has the same proportions as Mickey Mouse. So we're gonna just kind of figure out the size of the body shape right down here like this. His body to be figured out like that. And let's give him his typical stance, which will give him a bow-legged stance like so. Now, unlike Mickey, you don't want to draw shoes on this rabbit. You think of the absurdity of putting shoes on a rabbit where we actually draw shoes on a mouse, so figure that out. But we want to make sure that those long rabbit's feet are exposed here. And they're very boxy, so don't be afraid. We're not going to draw in individual toes on this character. He was a 1927 creation, so we don't worry about drawing in individual toes. Well, with that being said, we're going to give him an expressive stance. He's got long rubber hose-like arms, but then the hands are going to be fingers coming off of a circle. We've got a circle here on the end of the arm, and then let's just give him a thumb. You know, it gets a little wider here at the tip. And then I like to give him like a mitten shape here and then separate those digits. So we'll give him his fingers are rather boxy and they separate more than Mickey Mouse's do because the drawing I'm using for reference has him waving, we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna take this arm, bring it over here, we're gonna, we're going to bend it and then give him another hand here. But he's gonna be waving, so that circle, we're gonna give him a thumb and then again, I like to mitten it out and then separate those fingers. Every Disney character has their own individual style with their fingers. Oswald is no different. His, his are rather boxy at the ends. And just like Mickey, he wears shorts and no shirt. Those shorts flare out. They're a little baggy. And there we have it. Now, Mickey has buttons. Oswald does not. I know at some point they tried giving him buttons. Feel free to put the buttons in if you'd like. 
So now we're going to treat Oswald's face much like we do Mickey's. I'm very lightly going to draw in a muzzle, but you're not going to see this when we draw in the final line. His nose, very much like Mickey. I mean, it's extremely similar to Mickey. We're going to draw in an oval shape. Now, with Oswald, we actually don't really have any protruding cheeks. Not if we're going with the original character design. So I'm just going to darken in the head shape. But his eyes are extremely similar to Mickey's in that We're just going to draw in that initial shape. And now inside this cheek shape, we'll draw in a smile line. And from there, we'll draw in a smile. You can go as far into this shape as you can or as you would like, but I'm going to leave mine in like this. And if I draw it too low into that circle, I could always add a little indent here for the for the the lower lip but now we've got all the allowance we want with those eyes but i'm going to keep it in within this shape here like i do with mickey so we're going to draw in an oval here and we'll draw in an oval here just like mickey's ears now, just like Mickey's ears, we're going to figure out where we want Oswald's ears. And I'm going to follow the same rule. He's turning his head, so don't be afraid to turn those ears. Again, they follow the same rules. You never see the ears from the side angle like one's over the other one, they will pivot on his head just like, just like Mickey's. For those of you not in the know, he actually predates Mickey by a year, being created in 1927. Walt had created many cartoons with Oswald as the star, being financed by a business partner out in New York named Margaret Winkler. Margaret had bankrolled many of the Alice comedies beforehand and they had a great working relationship. Now, later on, Margaret would marry a studio executive from Universal Studios named Charles Muntz. Now, Charles would take a look at the books and see that she was paying way too much money for what he thought were silly cartoons. He called Walt Disney out to New York where Walt thought that they were going to renegotiate for more money per cartoon. Once he arrived, Mintz had told him that they were undercutting and lowering the prices. Walt argued that he wouldn't be able to continue to make a profit on these cartoons and they have to renegotiate for higher wages. And that's when Mintz dropped the ball that not only had he taken much of Walt's animation staff to Universal, but he's also taking the rights to Oswald with them. Now, legend has it that on the train ride home with his wife, Lily, where Walt would play around with the design of Oswald, and instead of those long ears, he made big rounded circles and gave him a long stringy tail and a mouse was born. Rumor has it that a mouse was loose in the train car and went over his foot for inspiration, but we don't know that for a fact. Now the real fun story is in the mid 2000s. Bob Iger had taken over as CEO for the company. And while talking with Walt's family, they asked that he try to bring Oswald back into the company. So that was mission number one for Iger. So when Iger reached out to Universal to try to regain the rights to this rabbit, 
Universal picked up on the a potential value of this character to the Disney company. They wanted something of some substance in return. So they requested Al Michaels of ABC Sports. Now put yourself in Al Michaels' position being traded to Universal for a cartoon rabbit that most people had never heard of before. That must have been a day. But it looks like it's working out just fine. The Disney company is marketing this rabbit as much as they can. It all worked out in the end. And there you have it, guys. There is Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. I hope you enjoyed drawing this with me. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And also tell your friends about this channel. Guys, we are still growing, and we're growing a lot better than I thought we would during my time off. So thank you so much for your um, continued support. Guys, please let me know who you'd like to draw next in the description, or shoot me an email. That'll be down in the description of the video. Thank you so much for joining us, guys, and until next time, we'll see you later. That sportscaster Lorne Michaels, Lorne Michaels? Not Lorne Michaels.